Welcome to Neostock's Supply Demand Zone Top-Down Analysis Strategy Builder. I am Pratap here. Let us generate bullish and bearish trade setup stocks for monthly income trade and weekly income trade. So I am going to use the end of the day data on 5th February 2024 because this is the early hours of 6th, the date is already changed. But the data we are using is end of the day data for uh, 5th February. And a small update, if this is your uh, first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. And if you would like to learn this course, all the training videos are available at our YouTube channel. I placed all the videos in a playlist called Supply Demand Zone Price Action Course. I have provided the link to the playlist in this YouTube video description. So click on the link, you will be able to access all the training lessons starting from lesson 1.1 until the most recent lesson. Even the upcoming lessons also will be placed in that playlist. I also provided the link to our Telegram channel in this YouTube video description. So join in the Telegram channel so that each time we release a new video, we will update in our Telegram channel so that you will come to know immediately. Now let us get into report generation. So we are going to generate four reports. One is a monthly income trade bullish trade setup. Second one is a monthly income trade bearish trade setup. Third one is a WIT that is weekly income trade bullish trade setup and weekly income trade bearish trade setup. So four types of zones we are going to generate. So first let us start with the monthly income trade bullish trade setup. In monthly income trade your entry time frame is daily. So already daily I have selected and because it is a bullish trade setup our entry zone should be a demand zone and we are generating bullish and bearish trade setup. I am selecting this uh, parameter in this parameter at a daily time frame, I am using the option bullish. Now I am clicking the top down strategy builder. By clicking this builder, uh, by, by clicking this uh, button, uh, you will be able to get all the bullish trade related stocks uh, for monthly income trade on daily time frame. But, uh, uh, but Nifty is at near to the all time high. Because Nifty is near to the all time high, most of the stocks are currently bullish. That's why you got a very big list. Let me scroll down. See, I'll, let me quickly scroll down because we don't have enough time. So what you can do, you can pause the video for referencing any of your favorite stock in this list. I'll be giving you only a few seconds time and then scroll down to the next page in this report. See, total 98 stocks are filtered. Is it possible for us to analyze all these 98 stocks? It is, all, it is impossible, almost impossible. So that is the reason why we need to further filter this list. So how do we fil further filter this list? For that previously also we used some parameters. We filtered based on, in, uh, we don't want PS zones, or we don't want tested zones. We want only fresh zones. So we can test, we can filter this list based on that. And we want a very good reward, a minimum 5% reward should be there. Based on that you can filter. And you want uh, stocks near to the demand zone, which are very close, so that easily we may get an entry, maybe today or tomorrow. So these are all few filters we can use for filtering this list further. So 98 stocks can be reduced to a single digit number or maybe uh, between 10 to 15 stocks maximum. Okay, so I am going back and I want to set the filters. First, let, me, let, let us set the filter for uh, finding the fresh zones. How do you find the fresh zones? By setting the test count to zero. Which time frame? Here, this is the test count. Which time frame and daily time frame? So here set the value 0, 0. Test count 0 indicates fresh zones. But remember, 
test count zero is uh, if you sometimes if you want to purely test uh, fresh zones you need to set even rejection count also zero zero see the next parameter rejection count this is also you can set on daily time frame zero zero timing i am not doing the reason is sometimes rejections are price action clues just before the real order flow the rejections will start because it is a very good price action clue we don't want to filter even though the zone is test count is showing zero and even though the zone is already tested but there is a huge order flow is there we don't want to miss the next second opportunity when strong rejections are there from that area prices will uh, give second test or third test sometimes they are very strong order flow it indicates so that's why i, test, I currently i set the test count to zero now let us filter see how many stocks it is filtered let me quickly scroll down so from 79 it's come down to 68 that means all these 68 stocks the demand zones are fresh demand zone maybe supply zones are not fresh but all these demand zones see the test count is zero only some stocks might be having rejection count okay but still this number what is the number 68 68 is a big number it is very difficult for us to uh, analyze all these stocks so we want further list should be reduced for that what you want to do set the reward let us reduce the reward i mean uh, let us increase the reward we want a minimum 5% reward the stocks having because this is a uh, monthly income trade at least minimum 5% return if it gives so that's a good it's minimum maximum maybe it could be 10% 15% also will be there in some of the stocks then what about risk see risk is there in our hands to reduce whether it is type 1 proximal entry type 2 proximal entry or type 3 proximal entry or i already explained in lesson 16 zone confluence based on the zone confluence also you can reduce the risk by fine tuning the zone and moreover we can identify the real order flow inside the zone that way you can reduce the risk the moment you reduce the risk your reward will be improved and your rr also will be improved that's why our concentration is not on the risk our concentration is on the reward if there is a good reward is there if the even though the risk is uh, high still we can re reduce the risk it is there in our hands we can find you in the zone it is there in our hands but reward is not like that a minimum a minimum reward a minimum fixed reward should be there so that is the reason why i am setting the minimum reward this is the minimum reward maximum reward how we will get by fine tuning the risk reduce the risk this reward further it will improve because of that you get one more advantage you get a very good rr you get sometimes you get 1 is to 7 1 is to 8 1 is to 10 rr also you will get there is not question about the rr is the question about the reward how good the reward is is it 5% reward is it 10% reward that makes the difference that's why we i'm always concentrating on the reward rather than the risk because risk is there in our hands to reduce by fine tuning the zone we should not forget we already completed the lesson 16 in lesson 16 theory less in the theory section as well as the practical section i explained all the concepts with clear examples go through them so let's go back now we have a parameter what is the parameter minimum range percent this is a d to d range distal line to distal line that is a type 1 distal line to type type 1 distal line i mean a type 1 distal line of the demand zone to type 1 distal line of the supply zone that itself is a, a big reward what is the big reward we are setting 5% below 5% we don't want those stocks so in daily time frame i am setting the value 5 see then now the list is further reduced 43 stocks are filtered but still 
from 62 it come down to 43 still it is a big number we can't analyze these many stocks so what is the best option now because we got a very good reward we got fresh zones the next option should be we want a quick entry how do you identify quick entry identify the stocks very close to the demand zone how much close maybe 1% level maybe 2% level maybe 3% level or 4% level maximum 5% level why maximum 5% level because we set reward minimum reward as a 5% if we set maximum 5% already they are very close to the supply zones so first let us start with 1% which are very close to the demand if you want more stocks we'll increase that 1% to 2 or 2 to 3 maximum 5% let us see the reports. I will gen generating multiple reports now. The, in the first report, let us generate the stocks very, very close to the demand zone. That is at 1% level. So which parameter we have to use? See the last one in this uh, page. The minimum price person to reach the zone. Let me highlight. The minimum price person to reach the zone. That means from our demand zone, because we already selected the entry zone as a demand zone, so from our demand zone, the maximum percent, it's not the, sorry, minimum percent, it is the maximum percent. The maximum percent should be 1%. It should not cross beyond 1. So which time frame you have to set? Daily time frame, because that is our entry time frame. There you set the value as 1. Now you filter. No stocks are there. Very close to the demand zone. So what we do? We will increase to 2%. Are there any stocks? at least maximum 2% level. That means between 1% to 2%. Because 1% already we filtered. So change the number on the daily time frame, change the number 1 to 2. Now filter the stocks. Now 5 stocks are filtered. These, all these 5 stocks are near to the daily demand zone. How much near? A maximum of 2%. That means all these stocks are between 1% to 2%. Greater than 1% and less than or equal to 2%. Because 1% no stocks are filtered earlier. That's why I'm saying all these stocks are between 1% to 2% level. But some stocks are already moving towards the supply zone or all-time high. See here the signal type. See, MRF, it is moving towards all-time high from the demand zone, even though the demand zone is fresh. When it is moving, already it moved 2% level from the demand zone, or more than 1%, because it is between 1 to 2. More than 1% already moved from the demand zone, and going towards the all-time high. You know, before going to the all-time high, sometimes what happens, there could be some lower time frame supply zones, maybe 75 minutes or 15 minutes. They may push the price again. Because of that, we might get a chance to get an entry because of lower time frame supply zones. Then that is a good opportunity to take an entry in this zone. Now what happens? Because the primary direction, on the primary means on the daily time frame, that is the LTF time frame direction is towards all-time high, because of lower time frames pushed, still the direction remains all-time high. They take an entry in this demand zone and very fast again they move up. So such kind of opportunities, anything we get, we should not miss. But rarely have we get such kind of opportunities. That's why we have to keep an eye, even though the LTF price direction is high. See, already the HTF and ITF price directions already I provided in this field, price direction. Why I didn't add LTF is because signal type always indicates the LTF price direction. See, towards all-time high, towards resistance supply zone, towards all-time high, near demand zone. See, this is the one very near to the demand zone. That means currently prices are moving towards the demand zone. We are in daily time frame, that is LTF time frame. So this is the one very soon we'll get. It doesn't mean the remaining stocks does not get. They also, all of a sudden, because of its lower time frame zone, below daily zones, 
lower time frame 75 or 15 minutes might push the price again till the demand zone. If that is the case, we may get an entry. So that is the reason why even though they are against the lower time frame price direction, still we are monitoring these stocks. That point you have to understand from this discussion. Let us assume this, you still feel this list is small, you want some more stocks. Now in, increase the list by adding a, a maximum price percent to 3% instead of 2, 3. Up, already 5 stocks are within 2% level. Now whatever the stocks, remaining stocks you are going to get in this list. Now two more extra stocks we got. What is that? National Aluminium and Federal Bank you got. These two stocks probably between 2 to 3% level within the uh, within the uh, with, uh, before the demand zone, due to any reason, if today the stock is fell down to three percent, we get an entry in this zone. Moreover, this zone is a fresh zone. See, so remember, if it is a fresh zone, you cannot take the entry just like that. Always, you have to check the quality of the zone. How do you check the quality? By fine tuning the zone. Lesson sixteen, I clearly explained when a zone will be violated. So if the price structure is not good, the zones will be violated. In which price, in which time frame, lower time frame, 75 minutes time frame, 15 minutes time frame, if the price structures are not good, or even 5 minutes time frame, the zone will be easily violated. We already identified the rules when a zone will be violated. So you have to check, you cannot take a blind trades. Everybody, even though it is a WIT trade, or even though it is a MIT trade, you should not ignore the lower time frames. That is 75 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes. Up to 5 minutes, you have to analyze. You have to ensure the quality of the zone is good. There is a good order flow is there. Then only you have to place the order. That you have to do manually. When you have to do, after filtering all these sticks, all these stocks, after filtering all these stocks, whatever the minimum number is there, that you are analyzing all those stocks, at the time, you have to do fine tune. See, that is what I'm doing every day when I'm analyzing high liquidity zones. From daily, I'm going to 75 minutes, 75 minutes to 15 minutes, 15 minutes to 5 minutes. Every day reports, I'm showing that stocks near demand and supply zones. Whatever, probably you may, I'm believing that you are watching all the everyday videos. The reason why, why I'm showing every day to make you people get better experience. Because sometimes when I'm analyzing some special scenarios, we will see. That day it is a good learning for you. That is what I've been explaining for the last three months. My intention is everybody should get a very good skill in fine-tuning the zone. That is a, the real skill will give you the real money. Okay. So this is a 3% level. Let, let me go quickly... Uh, a change to 4% and 5% also just for reference purpose. Now I'm changing to 4% stocks near 4% to the demand zone. Now the list is 12 stocks. This itself is good enough. But let me see 5% 5 5 also any, how many stocks are there. So changing 4 to 5. This is the maximum, final. The total 16 stocks are there within 5% level to the demand zone. See, you have almost different five, five types of reports. Okay, first report anyway, zero stocks are there. Remaining four types of reports. Uh, how many you can analyze today and plan your trades? Analyze those many. First, you analyze the stocks very close to the zone at 2% level. After that, go to the 3% level. That way you uh, analyze the stocks. So this is about bullish trade setup for monthly income trade. Now let us generate bearish trade setup for daily time frame. Because it is bearish trade setup, entry zone is a supply zone. And bullish or bearish trade setup parameter at daily time frame, I am selecting the value bearish. Filter the zone. Only one zone is filtered. And moreover, it is a pierced zone. So you can't trade in this. That means we don't have any stocks bearish trade setup stocks. Now for uh, monthly income trade, 
we may find in weekly income trade now monthly income trade is completed now let us go to weekly income trade for weekly income trade your ltf time frame is 75 minutes and your entry zone is demand zone because the weekly income trade first we will start with the bullish trade setup for bullish we are selecting demand zone and bullish or bearish trade setup 75 minutes i am selecting bullish let me generate definitely we get a big list because currently nifty is at all time near all time high so majority of the stocks in nifty but for your reference let me scroll down how many stocks are listed So total 79 stocks are knee are bull supporting bullish trade setup, but in that few stocks are already demand zones might have been pierced, and a few stocks are already tested. We don't want that because most of you people don't want tested zones. I know because sometimes if the multiple tested zones might be high liquidity zones, you might be missing. But anyway, you want fresh zones. What I am doing, I am going back. and let me set the test count see the last parameter is in this space test count so let me test on 75 minutes because this is a weekly income trade entry time frame is 75 minutes so for 75 minutes i am setting minimum value 0 maximum value 0 that indicates all fresh zones but rejections will be there because i didn't see if you want a pure fresh zones you have to set even a rejection count also 0 0 the only reason i am not setting it is there in the final report if rejection count is there more than 0 uh, uh, then it is there in our hands to just avoid that stock but some people they purely trade based on the rejections even i also give highest priority to that because uh, rejections most of the times i am not saying 100% most of the times they are the price action clue indicates there is a strong order flow is there in that zone in that area that's why i am depending on that that's why i added one special column rejection count in my report the rej rej indicates rejection count see the test count after that rejection count then cij indicates close inside the zone how many times price closed inside the zone and pie indicates a pierced so this column indicates pierced count okay so now how many stocks are filtered now after setting zero rejection count to zero now the list is come down to 41 earlier it is 73 right now it's come down to 41 still it is a big number so now let us look for the reward we want because this is a WIT trade weekly income trade instead of 5% let us set to a minimum 3% minimum this is not the maximum minimum because you you find a majority of the stocks more than 3% so minimum reward so to get the minimum reward we need to look for a d to d range already we have a minimum range this is a d to d range maybe for better clarity in the maybe in the next time when i update the software i will change in the bracket i will keep d to d range or digital line to digital line range so that you, you, you there won't be any confusion so here i am setting the value 3 see now the number is reduced drastically let me scroll down total 24 now from 43 it come down to 24 but you may feel uh, 24 is a big number we don't have uh, uh, patience to analyze all these 24 stocks you may tell so what i do now let us find the stocks near the zone from 1% 2% maximum 3% because the reward is a 3% the minimum range so maximum we look for only stocks having a 3% so three times we will generate the reports first i will see the very close to the zone 1% to check very close to the zone you have to use maximum price percent to reach the zone that means within 1% level 75 minutes time frame i am setting the value 
So within 1% level, my, my stock should be there for the demand zone, close to the demand zone. So only these two stocks are within 1% to the 75 minutes demand zone. Infi is also there in this list. Now let me go back. We want more numbers. So what I am doing, now I am changing this 1% to 2%. Close to 2% to the 75 minutes demand zone. Within 2% level. Now one more stock is added, that is PNB, Punjab National Bank. Now let us uh, put it to the maximum 3%. And we can't go beyond that. Because our reward is also 3%. So within the 3% level, 9 stocks are there from this list. Now you can study that supports the bullish trade setup. Always remember, signal type always indicates the price direction, LTF price direction. But more clarity is there because here whether it is towards the all-time high, or towards the high liquidity zone, such kind of RPS zone, such kind of clarity I have given in this. So this is about a bullish trade setup for weekly income trade and the last report is a bearish trade setup for weekly income trade. Now I am selecting the time frame as 75 minutes. But this time entry zone is a supply zone. And in bullish bearish trade setup, this time for 75 minutes, we are selecting bearish. And filter the stock. 10 stocks are filtered. Now it is easy for you, you don't require, but still if you don't want, some, peer, some supply zones are pierced. And some supply zones are tested more than once. One supply zone. If you do, if you want to filter those stocks, you want only fresh stocks. Set seventy five minutes test count to zero zero. So eight stocks are there. Now it is easy for you to analyze. You don't require any further stocks because the number itself is. Now, usually, without filters, you can see here you want minimum 3% reward. See, wherever the reward is less than 3%, you can filter. But here, one point you have to land properly. See, sometimes, you, you even though the reward is small, still you can improve the reward. Let us assume I want a 2% reward in these stocks. So, one of these stocks is having... 1.69 as a reward. So what I do, I will, if you use the software, software will filter this stock. That way you might miss an opportunity. How we miss the opportunity? Improving the reward is there in your hand. At least in some situations I am telling. How you improve? See here, what is the risk? 0 0.59. By using the techniques, fine-tuning the zone, how you can find you in the zone? You already land in lesson 16. Let us assume with the technique, you reduced this risk to 0.2%. That means point close to 0.4%, you improved the reward. Risk is reduced to 0.2%. And because you reduced the risk remaining... Uh, uh, from out of 0 0.59, remaining 0 0.59 means uh, it is 6, 0 0.6 time being for easy understanding. Out of 0 0.6, you reduce it to 0 0.2. So what is the remaining portion? What is the remaining portion? 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.4. The 0 0.4 goes to the reward. Now 1.69, the current reward is improved to 2%, 2.1%. See all of a sudden? The reward reached to your expected level. That means at 0.2% level, if prices come down, at that time only you take your entry. 
before that you don't take your entry that is the way you fine tune assume whatever you fine tune 0.2% that is near to the distal line of this uh, supply zone let us assume because of that 0.4% reward is added to this particular 1.69 1.69 plus 0.4 you will get 2.1 so you got your expected minimum you got your maximum expected reward you got this is the way that's why that's why i am not filtering the stocks based on the rr if you filter the stocks based on the rr many good stocks will be filtered i don't want to make that mistake first with minimum conditions you filter the list in that filter list by using uh, the concepts you learned in lesson 16 fine tuning the zone you can reduce the risk and you can further improve the reward that way you get rr you get rr like 1 is to 7 1 is to 9 1 is to 10 such kind of big rr you will get and if you are asking the software to filter the software will remove all those stocks whatever the value you give software is a dumb machine it doesn't have intelligence if you give a value if it satisfies it will filter if it doesn't satisfy it will leave that stock so do you want such kind of things in some places the human brain has to be used this is a classic example that i explain here software will act based on these numbers not based on how you are fine tuning how you are fine tuning is your skill you may ask a question can't we build such kind of skill to the uh, software we can build but that is quite dangerous we should not forget again software works based on the rules mathematical rules but if you are a human sometimes what you do you will compromise at some levels how you are compromising all these days you are seeing initially what you learned a base candle should be a minimum 50% body less than 50% body should be there but sometimes even 0.5% 0.55% body is also there still we are considering that as a base candle but do computer consider that no it won't consider because computer you define a strict rule if it is less than if it is greater than 50% don't consider this as a base candle but the human brain accepts how it accepts our brain sense always because our experience grows our brain tell even though it is more than 50% still no problem we can accept it is very close but how much close we have to accept your brain will tell you but computer cannot tell because computer always you have to define the rules that's why computer algorithms you always you have to limit to a certain level there is always a threshold level that is the where our dependency on the computer should be reduced their human judgment should be important some people think computers are always smart they take the all kind of decisions no many times computers also makes mistakes why it makes mistakes because the rules you define in the computer they are not allowing you to consider certain situations where human brain accepts because i know all these issues that's why keeping in my mind all these points what really where exactly you need to stop the computers where exactly computers are required for us computers means the programs what i mean computer programs that level i distinguished properly that way i defined that's why instead of giving rr filtering based on the rr i am filtering based on only reward reward is more important rr is not important rr comes later and that is there in our hands not in computer's hands because i remember somebody asked a question if computers cannot filter how can we filter this is the way first we filter see 79 stocks we filtered to 8 stocks or 10 stocks that way we filtered now in those stocks rr you will decide you will decide in these stocks you cannot decide in all the 73 stocks rr i'll agree with that 
but we do, we are using other smart technique or even more efficient technique we are using if we would have filtered with rr some of the good stocks from this list might have been eliminated see we protected those stocks now because rr what will do simply risk by reward that's it or reward by risk so that way some stocks will be missed but a risk is there in our hand to minimize risk is not in the computer's hands to minimize it is our hand because we are going to trade when you are going to trade how much risk you want to bear how much relaxation you want to give that everything is there in your hand hope you got the clarity anyway we have completed the report generation for all these stocks now let us take a break here and let us all meet again in our next video thank you